Hello, I'm Greg Berger, one of the field sales engineers here at Wavelink. Today I'm going to give you a brief demonstration of the new release of Avalanche 6.0. The goal of Avalanche 6.0 was to bring parity between our cloud and on-premise solutions. Some of the highlights of Avalanche 6.0 include the addition of smartphone support, including iOS, Android, and Windows Phone 8. This includes cool features like compliance policies tied to security rules and or geofencing, and policy assignment using Active Directory Group and user targeting. We've introduced a new comprehensive web console with a more flexible folder structure that allows users to decouple their management folders from their dServer locations. Along with Avalanche 6.0, Wavelink is also releasing a new and enhanced package builder. The new package builder includes an updated and modern UI compatible with today's Windows desktop operating systems. It has tools and controls designed to take advantage of enhancements to enabler features and the file structure changes we've made over the last few years. And it represents a return to a standalone package builder that can be installed on any PC, providing more options for managing, editing, and storing configured packages. We'll be offering a separate training session on the new package builder in the next few weeks. Avalanche 6.0 continues to offer Wavelink customers multiple deployment options. The cloud-based SaaS solution offers speed and ease of delivery to get devices under management quickly. SaaS relieves customers of the burden of maintaining their own servers, and the cloud is an efficient way to leverage the power of Avalanche with minimal effort. Avalanche 6.0 Premise supports the same centralized and distributed architectures that Wavelink Enterprise Class customers have come to rely on. The on-premise solution allows these customers to now manage their smart devices in the same trusted environment as their mission-critical rugged devices. The lines between rugged and mobile are becoming blurred. Smart devices are finding their way into mission-critical applications like customer-facing task workers and managers that need access to apps running on their employees' rugged devices. Now customers have the flexibility to choose the best device for the job, regardless of the operating system. Organizations are exploring options where smart devices might fit, and they can have the confidence that they will get the same high-level support for both rugged and smart devices. Every good PowerPoint needs at least one eye chart, so this one's mine. I'm going to try and demonstrate as much of these as possible as we look at the product, but here's an overview of many of the features you can expect from Avalanche 6.0. Going back to the blurred lines between smart and rugged, a couple highlights include configuration payloads for Wavelink's emulator and Velocity clients, support for kiosk mode and integration of the Landesk portal application, and our own Avalanche Notification Service, or ANS, for rugged Android devices that don't support GCM, which is Google's cloud management protocol. Additional usability features include a common login for the Avalanche console and the Landesk management suite enhanced Active Directory integration that can now leverage AD groups, and numerous improvements in the web UI and tree structure. The new Avalanche 6.0 provides the foundation for Wavelink's mobile enterprise productivity suite, where we bring together support for the operational task worker, the customer facing task worker, and the knowledge worker all in one product. Managing applications, content, access and security for everything mobile in your organization. So let's check out what's new in the recently released Avalanche 6.0. The first thing we notice is the completely redesigned web UI. This new web-based console replaces the Java console used in previous versions of Avalanche. Using a browser-based console, we give each end user the ability to control the information as it appears on the screen and to access Avalanche from any browser connected to the network. Information and controls are neatly organized into collapsible panels with a logical look and feel from view to view. Starting on the left, we have the management tabs, followed by the organizational tree, and finally the content window. Many content windows are further divided into subsections with the specific content and the number of rows also user configurable. 
the combination of the tab that is highlighted along with the branch of the tree filters the content in the content window. If we select inventory and then the top level of the tree we see our entire inventory both rugged and smart devices. If we select a subfolder like the guest folder then we see only those devices enrolled into that specific folder. Similarly if we select a rugged folder like demo and test we see only the devices contained in that particular folder. Now if we go to the profiles tab we see the profiles applied to that folder both directly and inherited along with any available profiles yet to be applied and any payloads available for those profiles. Returning back to the tree panel easy to use controls have been placed at the top of the panel to add and delete regions and folders along with the ability to view and edit their properties or to move them up and down the tree. Easy control buttons are visible to update, message, ping, delete, locate, and lock mobile devices. New for rugged devices, we've added a way to move devices from one folder to the other without changing selection criteria. Let me demonstrate. Let's go to production. We'll grab our Alexi device, move them to demo and test, and now that device will be available for me to make changes to without impacting the rest of the production inventory. Other than accessing them from a browser, the organization of mobile device profiles, network profiles, and software profiles hasn't really changed much for rugged devices. The management of smart devices from an in-premise avalanche is new, however. Smart device configurations follow the similar hierarchy as rugged devices, where configurations called payloads are grouped together in profiles. The distribution of those profiles is controlled by a combination of selection criteria and where the profile is applied in the organizational tree, just like rugged profiles. Smart device payloads are broken into three categories, iOS, Android, and all. iOS payloads include APN settings, certificate payloads, exchange and passcode policies, restrictions, software, and VPN and Wi-Fi settings. Android payloads include exchange for Samsung Safe, passcode and restriction policies, and software and Wi-Fi payloads. Shared payloads include compliance policies, documents, web links, plus configuration payloads for Wavelink's popular emulation and browser clients. So that concludes this demonstration, but that's just the beginning and there's a whole lot more. Check out our Wavelink YouTube channel for new how-to content being created all the time like videos for how to connect Android and iOS devices to Avalanche or configuring the Wavelink emulation clients with Avalanche. The Landesk community is also a great source for information and collaboration with other Wavelink users. And finally don't forget to check us out at Wavelink.com. Of course you can always schedule a demo or get a quote for Avalanche by contacting Wavelink Sales.